Good morning, Glads, and thank you for joining us. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Check this out. We don't have any more February college visits, but save the date of March 6th so you can chat with the reps from PPCC. On March 7th, the reps from Adams State are scheduled to visit us. Juniors, on March 13th, the International Salon and Spa Academy's area of vocational program is hosting a parent night for WSD3 students from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the ISSA building at 5707 North Academy Boulevard. To enroll in this program, your parents have to be there too. If you would like more information about this cosmetology program, stop by the Counseling Center. Right before spring break on March 21st, the reps from the Paul Mitchell School will be here. Our April college visits kick off on the 17th when the Western Colorado University reps are scheduled to visit us. If if you have missed any of the dates for these visits or want more information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. Seniors, if you ordered graduation announcements from Herf Jones, but you weren't able to pick them up last week, check with Miss Abeta in the Counseling Office. You will need a photo ID to pick up your orders. When we return from the break, we're sharing the golden ticket video again. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Isaac Fleet. It's Monday morning, Glads. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. On Friday, we announced that Frankie Ingraldi signed his letter of intent to play football at the University of Jamestown, but we did not include a photo. We'd like to apologize to Frankie for that omission. For years to come, Frankie, I, I saw it then, and I see it now. The next pro athlete out of Watford High School, it's gonna be you. Y'all know my words. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm sincere because he had what it takes. He never gives up. He, he finished what he starts. He was dedicated. He's a leader on and off the field. Thank God for his parents because they, they raised him the right way. And, and I'm just saying this to say that when you have players like Frankie, it makes it so easy. It makes it easy. So Frankie, on, in your new endeavor, the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but it's given to those that are going to the end. And the house divided will not stand. Anybody else want to say anything? Congratulations once again. NJROTC cadets, remember the military ball is on March 16th starting at 1800 hours at the Peterson Air Force Base Officers Club. If you have a military ID, you do not need to provide any additional information. If you do not have a military ID, you will need to provide your driver's license and state of issue to be allowed on the base. Since this is a formal event, the uniform of the day is formal attire. Our Lady Gladiators basketball team traveled to Berthet High School on Friday night to tackle the Spartans, and it was an epic battle. Our ladies fought as hard as they could, but they could not shake off the Spartan battle cry. The ladies have ended their dance, but we are still celebrating their success. Way to fight. On the boys' side of the house, our Glads took their ball handling skills to Shine Mountain on Saturday afternoon, but the tribe was in full force and our Gladiators lost. Although this is the end of their season, we're expecting great things from them next year. The team did some great work this season. We're proud of you all. The forensics team is hard at work prepping for their state competition next month. Casey Ringer, Taya Andrews, and Sophie Berger, and Isabella Garcia will be traveling to Highlands Ranch for their competition at Mountain Vista High School. We will have results when they return with their hardware. 
For now, we're wishing them the best of luck. In wrestling news, our Fab Five wrestlers at State ended their season with these results. We are proud of you all for representing WHS so well and with such class. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. Stay tuned on Friday when Damon's Dose of Health will focus on mental health. Spring sport athletes, practices start today, but not if you do not have your yellow card. Check with your coaches for times and locations for those practices. The ladies' tennis team tryouts will start at 3 p.m. today in the small gym. Bring some outdoor clothes as well. That's it for your Gladiator Sports update. I'm Isaac Fleet. Now back to the desk with Spencer and Ethan. Thanks for that update, Isaac. Ladies, some new dresses arrived last week to Becca's closet, and you can get yours by making an appointment with Miss Ford in room 122 or Mrs. HK in the library. These dresses are free and yours to keep. The library has some new changes, and you should totally check them out, especially the new graphic novel section. While you're in the library, check out all the fun selections at the book fair in the magazine room. And now we're heading somewhere on campus for Miss Betsy's lunch menu. Happy Monday! Hey, good morning, wife. What's for lunch? And here we are in the cafeteria. What a wonderful place to be. We're having chili with cornbread today and tomorrow. Cheeseburger. 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 Not popcorn. Cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah, he's eating popcorn. But thanks. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glad you can leave any unopened food items in the milk crate on the table for other students to have. Also, if you need to add money to your lunch account, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or go online. Glad check in your classrooms for the flyers with the dates and content for the test prep sessions happening this Thursday. Sign up in the library. The musical theater production of Little Women will be on March 7th, 8th, and 9th at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see how the March sisters handle life in the Civil War through music. And finally, golden tickets have been released to all the teachers and licensed staff members. Students, if you are a lucky recipient of a golden ticket, congratulations! Be sure to bring it to the main office and put it in one of the boxes. Gifts for golden ticket winners will be drawn at the assembly tomorrow after Here's a preview of the gifts you could win. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Shu. We've got our prizes, our incentives for our golden tickets. The drawing will be at our assembly on February 26th. Behind me, we have a lot of stuff going on. In addition, we've got three different $100 gift cards. Target, Best Buy, and Amazon. We've got a dinner and a movie package. We've got three apparel sets with hoodies and shirts from a skate shop. We've got a full skateboarding deck. We've got a pair of free shoes from Runner's Roost. In addition, we've got a gift card to Famous Dave's, Jason's Deli, two gift cards over to King Chef for $50 each. Uh, we've got three different prize packages to Sky Socks or uh, the Rocky Mountain Vibes as they are now called. We also have a couple of different Beats incentives, the wireless headphones and a pill box. We got a one terabyte Spider-Man package, PS4. We've got a 43 inch screen TV, LED TV, and not pictured here. We also have a game experience from the Colorado Springs switchbacks. Guys, we have three more prizes uh, that we forgot to mention just briefly. Don't forget, you get an opportunity to get a free set of prom tickets, a yearbook, and there's a custom Colorado flag that is made specifically for a wide field. And there is a package for painting with the twist. So those of you who are more on the crafty side, this will cater to you. So guys, continue to demonstrate power, and thanks for all that you do to make Widefield an amazing place. That's all we have for you today, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. Remember, we are on an assembly schedule tomorrow. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.